what time is it? It's new release time talk. This is my first time doing it. So let's just do it. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and comment down below. That is my favorite part. Yeah, if you hear TV in the background, my son is homesick, so I'm sorry. So I just went on to trend, mo trend mood and picked, like, I'm not even, like, this is, I'm just going to look and talk about stuff that I see that I want to talk about. Some of it isn't, like, super new. Some of it is new. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about was the Kylie Cosmetics Batman palette. Oh my god you guys. I will not support her brand. I don't like her. Sorry. <laughs> I just don't. But I think that she did a good job with this release. That highlighter and the, the comic style of this palette, the blues and the neutrals and the yellow. Yes, yes, I know, very basic and like so what, 2016, but I really like this release from her and yeah, so good for her, but I still don't like her, so I will not be purchasing. And in fact, I won't be purchasing anything because I'm on a no buy, low buy, broke buy, broke, no broke buy. Anyways, so there is this new color pop release that is Troublemaker Collection. It looks pretty. That duochrome shade looks stunning, um, but it, it's another color pop release and they keep duping themselves there's no reason that anybody needs this release like it looks like everything that they've released before this in my opinion um the jelly mud shadows however i'm digging that um i really 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 do like the jelly mud shadows i only have one i used to have two but it dried up and I wasn't going to take the time to revamp it. Um, but those used to be really popular. Like I remember, well, maybe they weren't super popular, but I used to really like Jordy from It's Likely Makeup and she is the one who talked me into buying those. Um, I had the origami shade that she had convinced me to buy and I just, I loved it. So I'm glad that they're bringing those back and they're becoming more popular again. You guys, the new Odin's Eye release is like getting me. It's making me feel all kinds of ways. Like, of course I'm not purchasing because I'm not purchasing anything, but holy shit, if I was to purchase something, I would purchase these. They look so stunning. I've only used one of their palettes and it was not my favorite and I would like to try them again and give them another go. But I just love it. The the Merry Christmas palette and the Christmas Eve palette. They're just they're stunning. I love it. One is like a Christmas palette that is your typical Christmas. And then the other one is your typical winter palette. And the shimmers and the packaging, everything about this is amazing. I don't know how the formula is, but you know. Okay, the new maybe, the new Baby Gold by Natasha Denona. It's $19 for three shades, three existing shades. That's $6.30, right? A shade. <laughs> no. Like, is she lost her mind? Like, are you kidding me? For three basic shadows, no. And their existing shadows in the gold palette, screw you. Bring back the gold palette. I would buy the gold palette if it was re-released. I am not going to buy three existing shades in that palette that you have discontinued. No. The She Glam Willy Wonka palette and collection um, looks really, really pretty. 
it's basic and it's all been done before like Too Faced has been doing that and Makeup Revolution um so it's like a big pass and it doesn't scream to me but I love the idea of a Willy Wonka collection I just don't feel like they hit the mark um I feel like they could have done like a character one like an Oompa Loompa or um, you know, the blueberry one or whatever, when she turned into a blueberry and the bubble gum, like, I think they could have done that. I think that there was more ideas in that, that they could have done that they didn't. And I'm just not a big fan or like do like a, a room one, you know, like there was different multiple rooms or different candies, um, rather than just a chocolate bar. Um, the violet flush blush though, that looks pretty. It's very, you know, purple and I love that. So, you know, I feel like they could have done a violet palette, right? Um, the lippy is like a glossy lippy. It's a Cha a cocoa kiss lip duo it looks okay this is affordable so i think that is awesome they have a golden egg solid perfume that's 3.99 you guys and i'm interested in that it's like a little egg perfume that you like put on um it's inspired by the Wonka tree and I love sweet scents. So I'm curious about that. But overall, I think it's a very boring collection that they could have gone farther with. Okay, you guys, another freaking ColourPop release. The new Not A Box of Chocolate collection. The eyeshadow is, the shimmers look pretty but it makes me yawn like it's another brown neutral palette and it's by ColourPop which they've done this color story time and time again um and it's $24 it's 16 pans so I mean that's really not that bad it's not $6.33 a pan <laughs> a shadow but it's still like I don't know I feel like they keep upping their prices. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? You can let me know down below. But it just doesn't inspire me. I do like the fact that it's not like insane. Like it doesn't have a bunch of stuff with it. It does have three fre fresh, it has three fresh kiss lip liqueurs that are $9 and then four cream luxe lipsticks that are 10 um, how many lippies do they need? I don't know. I just, they're getting too, there's too much. Oh my God, you guys. Did Makeup Revolution seriously, seriously do a Shrek collection? I kind of like it. It's cute. Am I going to buy it? No. Uh, do I want to buy it? No. I want the Beetlejuice one, but I don't want this one. Um, I think it's cute. I love what they did, but it is such a massive collection. They really could have like made it smaller in my opinion. They're very much similar to ColourPop and they're massive collections. Um, because there's like four palettes and three lippies and four skincare or like, there's just a lot in my opinion. Um, but I do think it's cute, but I'm not, I'm not going to get it. I really like the gingerbread man thing. It's the highlighter. I think that's really cute. If I was to get anything, that's probably what I would get. Okay. Again, with color pop, like I can just scroll a little bit on trend mode and color pop, color pop, color pop. They released the new Star Wars 3 CPO palette. It's boring. It's ugly. It doesn't go deep. I'm just not a fan of it. Um, I think 
that they could have I think that they could have gone more bronzy and or more gold and prettier I just I don't know I feel like it's really boring and it looks like they're um their uh -huh honey or their one of their bug ones I forgot what it's called or their sunflower one like it looks like that um pass okay flower beauty came out with these et ones and there's one of them and it is $19.99 which is kind of high but not too bad I think that it looks beautiful and personally I would get it maybe if I was buying. Um, it doesn't look super deep. However, I love ET. I love the package and it looks like a DVD. I think that's what they were going for. Like a movie with a DVD inside. I don't know. Um, but it says that it has a extra terrestic terrestrial <laughs> I'm not even going I'm not even going to attempt it okay I can't speak I'm sorry um duochrome bronze with the green shift and that sounds beautiful and it says that it also has a do you talk duochrome sheer with a purple shift and I think that that those two shades in the palette are good choices and I would try it Oh my god you guys i want this so bad and i'm not buying it um it's the glam light scooby-doo collection they have the creeps and crawls and the ro ro rogi uh oh uh ro ro raggy um eyeshadow palette and the highlighter which looks stunning they have liquid liner and three lipsticks and lashes as well but it's the sh eyeshadows and the highlighter that i really want um i think that they look really pretty i really like the creeps and crawls one the most but i think that they're both beautiful i do however where's the orange like they could have just tossed it in orange somewhere and I would have been like happy um but I do appreciate the fact that it's not like browns like scooby-doo is you know um but I don't know I think it's beautiful I think it's stunning I think that if even if they wanted to the highlighter looks so pretty um I don't know I think they could have even had an orange lippy and I would have been happy like a neutral orange but or like a orange blush didn't have to be orange in the palettes necessarily but I feel like they missed the mark on the orange however it's beautiful I love it I am a huge Scooby-Doo fan we still watch it in the house um yeah okay moving on Gwen Stefani's brand g x v e beauty i don't know how to say it um released a the c the i c n sparkle clean multi-dimensional glitter shadow it's 24 dollars and there's three shades i think dazzle glimmer and twinkle 24 dollars I think that I would rather spend like $10 more or whatever and get the new Charlotte Tilbury um, singles. Um, they look pretty, but not like anything amazing, and they're loose. So, glitter bukkake is all that's running through my head. I don't know. I do want to try her lippies though. I haven't tried anything from that brand to be hip dot release their um, Hello Kitty icons. Nobody needs these except for Laura, the bargain hunter. Um, but other than her, nobody needs these. Like, no. Um, they're cute, but 
I'd rather have, look, I love collecting makeup, but I would rather have a Funko Pop. That's what they're called. And I have a shit ton of Funko Pops. I would rather have a Funko Pop Hello Kitty than a Hello Kitty makeup product that's going to go bad. The new Lunar Beauty um, Advent Calendar. I love the idea of it. I really do. I think that's stunning. I always love his packaging. Like, I think it's beautiful. I think the palette is cute. Um, but $50... I don't know for 12 shadows and two lip oils that's just a lot um, I have heard really good things about his lip oils though and I think I think it's a really innovative idea I like it um, but do you need it I don't know okay I'm gonna talk just a, like with a couple of more because I think this is probably a fairly long video I'm sorry um, but there is the neutral Beauty Bay palettes they released it in three different sizes one is 42 pans and it's 25 and there's the 16 pan that's 13 and the nine color palette that is 850 um and i know that these have the same shades in them dead battery things may look different sorry um it's a matter of how big you want to go um, I really like Beauty Bay a lot and for whatever reason, even how neutral this palette is, I really like it. I don't know why, but it's like this romantic, grungy, sultry feeling to it in my opinion and I kind of, I'm kind of here for it. Um... I'm not gonna get it but I kind of like it you guys I kind of do Beauty Bay is my favorite drugstore brand by the way I'm gonna talk about the Mac collection um, and it's with the new Black Panther and they have a lipstick and four shades that are $23 I really do like the Mac formula I have I think three of their bullet lips I really do like the formula um, and the colors, the colors are fairly cute, um, neutral-ish though. Um, they have an eyeshadow palette that's $39. I like this color story. Um, it is very basic, but I like the mattes that they chose and I think it has potential. Do I need it? No. I do love Black Panther though. I've never tried MAC eyeshadows, so I don't know if they're any good or not. Um, for that price point. I don't know, but you guys, you guys, they released a bunch of other stuff with this collection. I'm only picking and choosing stuff to talk about. Um, they released a eyeliner and two brushes. They released a liquid powder highlighter and oh my God, that's what I want. If I was to get anything in this, that's what I'd get. First off, the embossing. Yes, please. S secondly, um, it's a warm gold with a rose fleck chocolate bronze with gold flecks. I guess maybe there's two colors. Maybe it's only one. I don't know. Regardless, I think it looks stunning. It's beautiful. The packaging has me. But holy shit, you guys, it's $44. Their highlighter is more expensive than their eyeshadow. I don't know. That's so steep, $44. I always try to break it down, though. Like, that highlighter will last you a lifetime, like, hitting pan on it. Only if you, like, really use it every day for a year straight are you going to go through it. Um, so... It's not that expensive when you break it down like that, but holy moly, that's a lot. There are so many releases, and I know that I did not start at the very beginning, and I didn't hit everything, so I'm sorry. The last, this is my first time doing it. If you guys like it, 
I will continue to do it and I will do more. Let me know. Let me know down below if you like this, if you like me talking about makeup. I don't know. I'm not that interesting, so I never feel like I'm cool enough to do videos like this. But Nomad released Neighbors Dogs. Nomad released a palette called Christmas Cheer. I think that's what it's called. Christmas Cheer, I think is what it's called. It's $29 and it is a nine pan palette. Nomad has only released like a couple of nine pan palettes. I love the fact that they released another nine pan. I love that. Um, I really do like this packaging. I am a freaking sucker for Halloween and Christmas themed palettes. They make me feel warm and fuzzy. I do like the mattes that they chose. There are only four mattes, but I enjoy the mattes that they picked. However, I almost would have went with a brown nutmeg maybe instead of a white. I don't know. I don't know. I do like it. I do like it. Um, I've heard that the shimmers are more toppers versus like super opaque, which is okay with me. I don't mind toppers. Um, I think it looks really pretty. I've heard hit, like I've heard mixed reviews about this palette. Um, if I was purchasing, I would make this purchase. Um, I think it's, it's pretty. Um, if you need transitional shades um, or more light shades to blend out, this might be more of a companion palette for you. Um, so think about that and what kind of shadows you need in a palette. Because if, if you do need more light tones to go with your deep tones, this palette probably isn't for you though you do have the white and I think that's why they added the white in there so you can blend out that red and blend out that green and that charcoal um so it's rather smart choice I think but I still don't think that that's going to be enough for some people would it be enough for me yes but I'm not I I do different kinds of looks so I don't know if this is for everybody but I think it's beautiful I think it's beautiful and on that last note I'm gonna call this done because I have no idea how long this video is um and yeah so if you guys liked hearing me talk about makeup let me know down below um because I'll continue um I don't know. And I'll probably get more comfortable trash talking or being silly the more and more I do this. I don't know. It's kind of uncomfortable talking about makeup. I don't feel like I'm qualified to, even though I've used a lot of makeup and I have ideas and preferences. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just going to go. Okay. Bye.